This video, we're discussing some of my July favorites. So when I was younger, one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube were like monthly roundup videos and monthly favorites that people have. So I've decided I'm gonna start doing them, of course. And it is the last week of July. Here we are wrapping it up. What I really truly loved and enjoyed is what I wanna discuss this week. And I'm just super excited because it's the first one. So I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of things I just like need to talk about. I'm excited and I'm actually most excited to share my music that I found this month, but I'll save that one for the end. First up, we're gonna start in the context of beauty and we're gonna start with skincare. I'm not one, I think, who can talk too much about skincare because, well, look at my face. She's not doing her best. She's not doing very well today, but I am on my period. <laughs> So I'm going to use that as my excuse. We're gonna start off with what I've been using and what I think has been helping me. So first up is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is non-comogenic, which works really great, I think, with my skin. And I think I've like, my skin's still not good, but I have definitely noticed the difference since I like re-picked this up. This was, when I was younger, always what I used. And then I started to get like really fancy with my skincare. And I think that's where I fell short. So I'm back to the basics and I think it's working for me well. Second skincare that I wanna talk about is sunscreen that I've been using this month, which is the Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop. Su Super Goop. I really like it because it is like really lightweight. Like you can't even tell it's there. Let me mix it up a little. And it is also 40 SPF, which I liked. When I was looking at sunscreens, I was going to look for something to have like a little skin tint with it. But when I found this and it was like clear, transparent, if you will, I just, well, like love. Most sunscreens that I use have had like a really bad white cast and this sunscreen does not obviously. It does smell like sunscreen, which some people don't like the smell of sunscreen. So that will stop you from using Super Goop. Also another thing about it, it's actually quite expensive. It is quite expensive for 2.5 ounces. Thank you Super Goop for that, but I really liked it. I think it's really been working. This is what I've been using at my weddings that I've been working at. I think it's done a really good job at like not keeping me sunburned. Next up are these patches. So these are the brand Hanhu, and these are extra strength blemish patches. There's 36 in here. I don't remember how much this cost, but I have found this to be a way cheaper alternative than a lot of other pimple patch brands out there. I go through these like crazy. So buying like a case that's like $13 that has like 15 patches in it is, that's just insane to me. That's a little too crazy. So I've been getting this brand at Walmart. I think it's been working well. I mean, for the most part, I want pimple patches to stop me from like picking at them and just like touching them. And this stuff sticks really well. So I like it for that. So yeah, these are my monthly roundups for skincare. After skincare, we're gonna talk into hair care. And I just got a haircut today and my hair feels so nice. So if I keep touching it, that's why I'm just like kind of obsessed right now with how it feels. So I'm going to do these two at the same time because they are the same brand, but don't be fooled. They are two different products. This is the Heritage brand and I have the leave-in conditioner and the heat protectant spray. I'm gonna talk about this one because this is my baby. I put this stuff on 10 to 15 sprays after I get out of the shower and I just like rub that all over. And I found that this like really softens my hair and helps a lot with frizz. I just, this is my favorite. Also, whenever I have this in my hair, I get compliments all the time about how good my hair smells. And I know for a fact that it's this that they're complimenting. Now, I don't curl my hair often, but when I do, I do always use this heat protectant spray. My hair is not damaged. And I just got compliments today from my hair stylist that she doesn't see heat damage. So this shit really works. This is the Play It Cool Heat Protectant Spray, which conditions and hydrates while protecting against heat. I think these two just working together is honestly just a glorious team for me. I love it so much. I'm trying to get better at not letting my hair be wet when I go to bed, because that's not good for it. Apparently you can grow mold. So I've been using these two pretty frequently now and I just like, I love it so much. Next up is something that I think has just been incredibly popular this summer. And this is a trend I hopped on, but I have no regrets about. 
and that is this day styling cream. I love this so much. I use this um, the styling cream pretty much for styling, for like smoothing my hair. This has really helped me a lot when I've been like trying to slick my hair back as much as possible. I have super, super thick hair. So it's like an actual arm workout to try to get my hair in a ponytail. And I get bumps and I'm exhausted after I do it. So when I like get bumps or miss a hair, I don't really want to do it again. This helps. This helps me get rid of them if I've messed up or if I use it even beforehand, helps me not have them in the first place. And since my hair is so thick, I need to use like a brush to help it get it up. I found that using like this travel size wet brush has like really allowed me to like pull it back and configure my hair while also letting it like all fit into my hand. So these two together have been fantastic for me. And that is my hair care products. All right, next up, we're going to be moving into makeup for this month. And I feel like something I've actually have touched a lot on this month is makeup. And you guys all know why these are my favorites if you've watched my videos before. So I'm not gonna touch on them too much. You want to know more about why they're my favorite? You can check out my makeup for beginners video where I talk about all these because I think they're just genius. But number one, of course, is the Pixie on the Glow Blush in the shade Fleur. I think this is just so <laughs> gorgeous. It looks so good on my, oop, it does not press back down. There we go, we're good. It's just, it looks so good. It's glowy, it's lightweight. I find that it like stays on. Sometimes with blush, it like will come off my face like immediately almost after I put it on. This stuff does a really good job of hanging on all day and I really love that. It's been through a lot and I love her so much. Next up, is this Kosas Airbrow. It's eyebrow gel. I use to hold my eyebrows in place. I just think it's super good, super gorgeous, works super well. I am kind of interested in the one that is brow tinted. So maybe when I get my money up, I'll buy that one and try it out. But this one works great for now and love her so much. All right, then we have the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in shade Enlightened. It's just gorgeous. When I wear this, I just, I have such a glow to me. I'm just beautiful. I look like an angel. Gorgeous. And then last up is also another rare beauty product. It's the mascara. This shit is so thick and full. I think this is an underrated mascara personally. No one's talking about this and I really feel like more people should. It's thick. It looks nice. It actually like keeps my eyelashes in place all day. I'm obsessed with this mascara and I didn't really love it at first, if you want me to be honest, but this month it's really grown on me and honestly, I'd probably purchase this again if it came down to it. Here's my makeup favorites for the month. Next, we're gonna move into food. So my favorite meal that I've been having, I actually don't have with me right now. It's a crab meat salad. So basically all it is is sliced up imitation crab, sliced up cucumbers, spicy mayo. The best meal ever. And I can eat a whole tub of this shit. It's so good. It's just absolutely delicious. But of course, no meal is complete without a sweet treat. So I wanna put you guys on something I think everyone should be talking about and nobody is. And that is Yasso yogurt bars. So these are Greek yogurt bars that taste sometimes better than ice cream, depending on the ice cream brand you got. These are just like delicious and they're so easy. So this is a perfect sweet treat and they have more flavors than just this fudge brownie. It's just the one I've been loving this month, but I know they have like cookie dough, mint, coffee. They have like dipped ones, strawberry ones. I don't know, the list goes on and on, but these Yasso Ice cream bars are so good. Then we'll move into lifestyle. So I've picked up reading a little bit this summer since I've been doing 75 Soft and a deep obsession in me has been re-woken up and that obsession is Harry Potter. I have read one, two, and I'm re-reading this one again. These are so good. I forget how much Harry Potter just hits at like any age. So I read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and I missed Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I'm just, these make reading exciting again. I just can't really get on the trend of books right now because 
to me, books, what the peak was this and Twilight. I might reread Twilight after this, but Harry Potter has just been so good. I can't recommend it more. If you've never read it, like my boyfriend's 22 and he's re he's reading Harry Potter for the first time this summer. He loves it. I'm rereading it. You need to get back into Harry Potter. Like if you've been in a reading slump and you need to like reawake yourself, start with Harry Potter. Next up is a TV show or movie I've been obsessed with. So I have not really watched many movies this month. However, I have been watching TV shows. And my go-to TV shows right now are New Girl, which is always my go-to TV show. It is just so good. One of my favorite shows that exists. And Scandal, re-watching it. So good. Anyways, these shows know how to keep you coming back. They have great relationships. They're kind of funny. One's more funny than the other, but it's just, they're so good. I will, they're both shows I've seen before. I'm like books. I like stuff that's predictable. So I like rewatching things, but Scandal and New Girl is so, so, so good. And now we're gonna talk about something I'm really excited to share and it's my music. Something I've always prided myself on is my music taste. First and foremost, I need you guys to know that I am a Swifty. I'm a Taylor Swift stan. And if I included Taylor Swift, on these, the same songs would reoccur all the time. So I've also decided for the sake of this, I'm not including Taylor Swift songs on my monthly playlist because those are just like my lifetime. So four songs I've had on this summer, I've ha created a Spotify playlist that is open to the public if you wanna go listen to these songs. And I totally recommend. So not only did I make a playlist though this month, there was a, an album that came out like a week ago or so that I've actually been playing nonstop. Like if you went on my Spotify right now, it would be playing. Let's get into it. The first song I recommend is called Ode to a Conversation Stuck in Your Throat. And it's by Del Water Gap. So good. I, <laughs> I don't know how to describe all these songs more than just like saying so good. And if this was any other platform than YouTube, I'd like play you a snippet, but obviously we can't for like copyright. So you're gonna have to trust me that these are really, really good and then go and look them up yourself. So the first song again, Ode to a Conversation Stuck in Your Throat by Adele Water Gap. All right, next one is called My Friend's Toyota and I'm gonna butcher the artist name, but it's by Asirius. I don't know. So good too, so good. Then we have Makeup by Jackson Marshall. So I wanna talk a little bit about Jackson Marshall. So he's an artist on Spotify. I don't know how I found him to be totally honest. He has 70,000 monthly listeners, which isn't a lot. Proud of him though. His song Makeup has 800,000 streams. I swear to God, I think I'm three fourths of those. This is a song I'm obsessed with this month, but I've been obsessed with this song, I think for like a year. I think I found it last summer and I have just been actually listening to it nonstop, like every single month. And I have to get it out of the way now into July and tell you guys that this is one of my favorites. But when Jackson Marshall is so famous and has crazy songs, I need you to know I'm an OG. So here I am talking about Jackson Marshall. All right, next up we have two songs by The Driver Era, which is Ross Lynch and his brother, if you know. But I didn't know that when I first started listening to these and then I like saw the album cover and I'm like, Hey, the songs I've had on repeat are San Francisco and Afterglow. Both are such good songs. And I'm gonna say that 50 times as I'm describing all these songs, cause obviously they're good songs if I'm talking about them right now, but I am so obsessed. Then we have Why by Dominic Fike. Dominic has a lot of good songs. Why is just so good and it's one I've had on repeat this month. Then we have All That I'm Craving, All That I'm Craving by Aiden Bissett. He's another artist I wanna talk about. So he has 1.2 million, which is more than Jackson, but it's still not that many. And he's someone I also really wanna see blow up. He has so many good songs. So the one I've just had on repeat is All That I'm Craving. Tripping Over Air is a really good song. More Than Friends, Out of My League. Again, just another really great artist that I wanna see like become huge and famous and sell out shows. And now it's time to talk about my artist of the month and my album of the month. And maybe you'll know, maybe you don't, but the, it's called it Kansas Anymore and it is by Role Model, who is a saint. I have been obsessed with him, oh God, for so long. Two songs that are on my playlist for July that I don't, that aren't on this album 
is Blind and Forever and More. Such good songs. But he just came out with an album called Kansas Anymore. And it's literally like, this is my peak. This might be one of my favorite albums of 2024. And I want to tell you every single song. So you go listen to it. And they are all just so, so, so good. So Writing on the Wall, Look at That Woman, Scumbag, Oh Gemini, Francis, Super Glue, The Dinner, Deeply Still in Love. You probably know that one. That was his single. That one's huge. Slut Era Interlude, So Far Gone, Slip Fast, Compromise, Something, Somehow, Someday. Oh my God. All these songs are so good. Literally, the, al the album has just been like on loop for me since it has came out, which was recent. When did this come out? July 19th? Yeah, just over 10 days ago. I've been listening to this nonstop. So, and I think it's only right though that I tell you my favorite songs on the album, even though I love all of it. So, Slip Fast. Ooh, someone slammed the door. Slip Fast is so good. The Dinner is so good. Look at That Woman is so good. Oh my God, this is kind of hard to do. Something Somehow Someday is crazy. Oh my gosh, that's like the least played song on this album. Guys, go play Something Somehow Someday. If a guy, if like, okay, if my ex wrote that about me, I'd probably be crawling back to him. This entire album is so good. It's like, it's a breakup album, except like a breakup album where like the guy has like respect and is caring and doesn't totally hate his girlfriend that he's been with. And it's just like, it's so good. But yeah. Oh, also, Oh Gemini, I've also had on repeat. No, it's like a crazy good album. If you have not listened to it yet, please go listen to Role Models Kansas anymore. But that's all I have for today for my July favorites. Quick and short, perfect. Just wanted to review that with you guys, but Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.